There are a few things that can make a WordPress website really powerful, and a couple of those are integrations and automations. And once you start connecting the different softwares you use to your WordPress websites and start automating your workflows and cutting out all those redundant tasks, well, everything changes because a whole new world of possibilities opens up. In this video, we're going to be looking at a powerful plugin called Bit Integrations that could do just that. This plugin is going to be able to connect our WordPress websites to hundreds of different softwares out there. I'm going to walk you through some of those possibilities that you could achieve. And for a live example to show you how this works, we are going to connect the Elementor form to Notion. I'm going to show you how to set up an automation for lead generations. That way, when we collect leads from our Elementor forms, they get funneled directly into a CRM built inside of Notion. And a quick disclaimer, this is a sponsored video. We're only going to be looking at the free version, but if you do choose to upgrade and use a pro version, I do got a special coupon just for our community inside the description. All right, let's go ahead and check it out. To get started, head over to the Bit Integration site. I have a link inside the description that'll take you right there. And from here, we're going to click on the free download. The free version is going to do a whole lot, especially if we are using Elementor. Once we have it downloaded, go ahead and install it on your site. I already have it installed on my site here. And once it's installed, you're going to see your option up here for bit integrations. Let's go here and take a look at what we got. The first tab here is where we create our integrations. But before we do that, let's take a look at our settings, which really it doesn't have any except for these two options. And this is a really good option to erase all the data when you remove the plugin. I wish all plugins had this right here. It's a really good option. And then we have our documentation and support. And for a plugin like this, documentation is super important because we're talking about connecting APIs and different software softwares and they do have a lot inside their documentation we'll take a look at that in a bit but first let's create our our integrations and that way we could see how this works the first step is to select a trigger and this is what starts the automation process right here at the top we have our free options and we have Elementor free which is awesome WooCommerce now WooCommerce has a lot that we could do when it comes to integrations and automations there is so much that could be done now I'm not going to show WooCommerce in this video because Paul from WP Tuts already created a really good video with bin integrations and WooCommerce so I'm going to leave a link to that inside the description so definitely check that out if you do want to connect this to WooCommerce but we're going to be looking at Elementor but if you do want to use a free form you could use the bit forms which is from the same team I already did a video on this and I got a lot of good feedback from people using bit forms it's a solid form plugin for sure but let's go ahead and get started with Elementor from here we are going to connect our Elementor form and I am going to connect it to this notion database now this is for lead generations that comes through the Elementor form and the goal for a database like this is to create a CRM where we could track our leads so when we do add a new lead over here let's take a look at it First off, we have all of our fields here with our first name and last name. And you can see the date and name automatically populated. And that is because I set up an automation here in Notion that automatically populates the name and the date. Again, like I said in the beginning of the video, once you open up this door to automations, everything changes. You find ways to save time. All right, let's go back over here. We could see our different fields, our first name, our last name, our email, company name, and then we got a drop down for services that are requested, our web design, UI, UX design, and so on. And then we got our message right here. We also got an option for win or loss. I'll talk about this in a moment, but first let's focus on these fields right here because what we're doing is mapping out and keeping the fields inside of our form identical. We got our first name, last name, email, company name, and even the dropdown is gonna be identical to what we have inside of our Notion database. We're gonna map them together and connect them all. So the goal for this is when somebody fills out the form, all the information is automatically updated inside of our CRM. And the reason why this is so important is because when you're only managing your leads, 
through your emails, you are losing so much opportunity. You're not gaining any kind of insights into how your sales pipeline and your sales flow is going by doing this. Let's say you get a brand new lead. It populates here inside of your new lead. Well, you reach out to that lead and you tell them, hey, thank you for reaching out to us. Let's set up a meeting. Then it go into the outreach stage. This is where you start communicating and starting the whole sales process with your potential client. If everything goes well, you are feeling like you're a good fit, then you're going to start the proposal stage. This is when you send out a proposal. This is when you start to iron out the details and start to look at contracts and invoices. And if all goes well, the client signs the contract, pays a deposit, well, then you got to win. And that's where we have our other field right here. But, you know, sometimes clients, they choose to go with another agency or another freelancer, and then that'll be a loss. But as long as you are tracking all of these right here, you could go back three months, six months, one year, and you could take a look at what what does it look like? What is your ratio between wins and losses? How many leads did you get? Also, a really good way to get more projects and more clients is to go back six months, a year later, take a look at all of your losses. And that is an opportunity to reach back out to your old lead, to your potential client, and ask them, hey, how has everything been going? Was your project a success? If you need any help, please let me know. And there's a really good chance that some of those losses that you had that went to another designer, another agency, it might not have gone well for them and they might have had some regret. So by you reaching back out to them, that could spark up the conversation and might get you a project with them. This is all a great way for you to get more projects. And that is how this CRM is going to work right here. It's very simple, very useful. Also, if you would like this template for free, let me know inside the comments. If I get enough people asking, I'll be happy to set it up and share it with everybody. But now let's go ahead and connect this with Elementor. So the first step you're going to want to do is select on fetch. Now this is going to just load. Don't worry about that. While this is loading right here, you're going to want to go over to your form and you're going to want to fill it out and just put something like testing and then send your message. You have to fill out the form. Now this is going to identify the form and then all the fields are gonna be set up right here. So it looks good, the fields look good. Let's go ahead and set up an action. Now check this out. All these actions right here, these are all available on the free version, which is crazy that we have all these options right here. And this is where the hundreds of different softwares come in even you got web hooks right here which opens up possibilities that are i mean i could talk for hours about web hooks and integrations and automations i love this stuff all right so this is all the things that we could do all right there's so many of them no matter what you're using, even if you are not using Notion, you're using something like Airtable, uh, you're using something like ClickUp, all of it is here. It's all going to work the same exact way. So check it out and look for your favorite softwares in here. And This is where a lot of the ideas could start to open up on how you could set up these automations and really streamline your workflows. All right, I'm going to go here to Notion, and this is what we're going to set up. I'm going to call this Notion Elementor connection and we got to get our OAuth uh, client secret and client ID and to do that we're going to go to our notions integrations and set up a connection inside notion we're going to click on here which is going to open up the page for you uh, to go ahead and set this up so I'm going to select on new integration and I'm going to give it the same name just to keep it easy. You could go ahead and upload the logo. I'm not going to do it this time just to speed things up and submit it. Now from here, we got to go down to capabilities and make sure you have these three ticked right here. If you are going to connect comments, well, you'll need to uh, tick those as well. But you got to go now to distribution. And from here, you're going to want to turn this on. So let's go ahead and fill out the rest of this information. And then we need to add in our redirect URI. And we're gonna find that back over here inside Bit Integrations. And we're just gonna take this here and copy that in. We're going to leave this one blank for right now, but let's go ahead and submit it. We're going to switch this 
to public. Let's go ahead and continue. And now we have our OAuth client ID and our own auth client secret. Let's go ahead and copy both of those and add them into bit integrations. And now I got the client ID and client secret copy and paste it over. Let's go ahead and select on authorize. Let's go and find our database right here. Well, this first tells us what we are authorizing and let's go here to select pages and I'm going to type in the database name. It is lead gen and let's see it pop up. Here we go. My lead gen CRM board. That's what I want to connect this to and then allow access. And here we go, authorization successful. Next up, we're gonna click on next, and this is where we need to map everything out. So let's select our database. And the first thing that we're gonna do here is give it a name. So this first section, let's say we do get a new lead through the form. Well, we have the name right here. You can see it is blank. So I'm gonna call this, let's select Let's do a custom right here so I can give a custom value. I'm going to call this web, let me see, new website lead. All right, and that's going to go in the name. And let's keep going through and mapping everything out. First name and then first name. And now from here, I have all the contact form input fields. They are all lined up with the input fields inside of Notion. From here, you do have options for conditional logic. So there, you could really go deep with this and really get complex if you wanted to. We're going to keep it simple and we're just going to select on next, finish and save. And now our integration is set up. And now let's go ahead and fill out our form right here. I'm going to choose SEO and uh, here is a new lead. Oops, I spelled that wrong lead. All right. And send the message. And let's go back and look at that. That's how quick it was almost instantaneously. Like it already started loading before I switched windows and let's open it up. And there we go. Check it out. All the information is there. So when we do gather our leads and we get new leads in, they're no longer just being lost inside of our emails, inside of our mailboxes. They're going into a sales flow that we could utilize, collect data, get more insights into our own business and also get more business as well. Because when we are leaving all of our, our leads, all of our contact form leads just to our mailboxes, we are losing out on a lot of extra business that we could be getting from those leads. So check it out. If you do want this template as well, let me know inside the comments and I'll go ahead and make this available for everybody. I'll set it up right here. And that is just the beginning beginning we could do a lot more we could connect it with slack and get our notifications right inside slack which is really helpful if we're working with the team if we have people dedicated to sales in our company we have other integrations like if you want to get the pro you could connect things to bricks and breakdance which is awesome uh we also have things like you know i see a lot of tools that i use here like fluent crm uh, jet engine so we the possibilities are here and i have to say one of the things that makes bit integrations stand out and different is going to be the price point because the price is going to be a lot less than the competitors out there. You get a lot of value for a really good price and they do have the lifetime deals going on still, but still the prices, I mean, the free version works great. If you're using Elementor, the free version is good enough to do some really awesome stuff. But, you know, the paid pro versions are also very reasonable when they're priced. They're a lot lower than, than the competitors. And I also got the coupon for the Lightbox community inside the description. I'm always looking out for us. Well, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions or any thoughts or ideas about bit integrations. And as you can see, the possibilities are endless here. I could think of hundreds of things, thousands of things that I could do with automations like this. But I want to hear from you. What kind of automations can you see really helping your workflow? Drop it inside the comments. Let us know. We can start bouncing ideas off of each other. Now, the free version of Bit Integrations, you can see it's a beast. We could do a whole lot with it. But if you are interested in the pro version, I do have a special coupon inside the descriptions with a link. And if you do have any questions, definitely drop them inside the comments. Well, thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video. And you know all that good YouTube stuff, like and subscribe. It does help to support this channel. Well, thank you for watching and I'll see you inside the next video.